Okay, in this demonstration, we show how to replace the A surface. So, supposedly you get new surfaces in that aren't um, smart, they're from a different CAD system. Um, however, you have all these, these features because you've been working on this. So, this is a um, shroud or a cover for a, a tractor, and it's an A surface. It's supposed to look nice, and it, but it has some features in it. So how we're going to replace that A surface, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to roll the model back to the original surface, and it's a broken wave link. So here it is, a broken wave link. It's essentially just a dumb surface. And then we're going to add in the, um, the new surface that we're going to replace it with. So if I add in these new surfaces, and um, let's see... This is the surface I want to add in. Now, normally a change is similar. This one is radically different. They're totally different surfaces, so we're going to have to replace everything. <clears throat> and the way to do that is to simply edit the wavelength body. So we'll just say edit. And it shows the, uh, the old, and we're going to select the new. And the first thing to notice is that the arrows are going the wrong direction. So the first thing that's important, we need to reverse that arrow. Now, the second thing is, if we just let it go, it's not going to be able to find the edges and things because they're not within the modeling tolerance. They're totally different. So we're going to replace the, um, do a reparenting operation. And the way to do that, and um, typically a designer will know their part a little bit, uh, you don't have to pick everything, but you need to pick enough so that the features update. Now, in this example, uh, typically you could do a geometric update, and everything within that tolerance, the edges and the faces, will reparent to themselves. We don't have a chance with this model. So we're going to do it manually. And to do that, the first thing we'll do is we'll select Edges, and we're going to say uh, Tangent. And we're going to pick some edges. So these edges equal these edges. And there could be a different um, number of edges. And, and there probably is. <clears throat> and then we'll pick um, these edges equal these edges. And these edges equal these edges. And you, you don't have to do everything, but you need to do enough so that you're model updates nicely and then maybe we'll do um, uh, let's see here these edges equal these edges and these edges equal these edges and you can see that there are a different number of edges these edges equal these edges so we're doing pretty darn good. So the next thing we'll do is we'll do faces. So we'll say that these faces equal these faces. And I could probably pick more. But you just want to try to remap it so that the model can, the children can find it, their parents' edges and, and faces. And you know, we'll just do one more. Okay. And um, maybe I'll do just two more. I'll do this face equals this face. And this face equals this face. And we're going to go with it now. So we'll say OK. And when I hit OK, it's going to replace that old wavelength body with the new one. So I'm going to hit OK. And the old one's there. The new one's there. The old one goes away. We no longer need this. I'm just going to hide this for now. That's the component that I brought in with the new data from the other CAD system. So now, well, the next thing we would do is we would just start rolling back the model 
And I will go kind of fast, but I recommend you take your time so that you get a good um, model and good updates. And if something fails, do an undo, go back, fix it. It's best to fix it along the way than to um, let everything just fall apart and then go back and try to fix it. Now this next one's a synchronous feature. <clears throat> so I'm going to, I know that with synchronous, it may not find all the edges the way I want it to. So I'm going to um, do this one by itself. And I'm going to edit this one. And I'm going to pick the faces that I want to go away. And then we'll continue on with the model. And I'm just going to roll it all the way down to the end now. And I might have to reparent or re fix a blend or something. But um, for the most part, um, see here, I do have some blends that I might need to remap. The edges have changed the number and things. Um, so here's my part. Update it. And I could see that I, I made a mistake. So um, if I hit this delete face. I really didn't want to delete that face. We'll hit OK. And all of our features updated with the exception of a few blends. So I, I could just simply edit the blends and, um, and fix these problems. So if I do that, that, that blend's fixed. And, and so on and so on, fix all the blends. So that's how you would uh, replace your data with data coming in from another CAD system or even from within NX and remap it. You get a radically different design and you keep your features. Cards. Driven by digitalization.